What's up? What's up? So you need some buyer traffic, huh? Well, you've definitely tuned into the right video for that. In a recent video, I talked to you about Traffic Zest, this super powerful website that sends buyer traffic straight to your offers. If you haven't checked that video out, it's linked down in the description. I strongly urge you to do so. Again, after months of trying, that's the first site where I actually was able to make money in affiliate marketing. Today, I want to tell you about how to set up a nice AI landing page in minutes so that you can start driving traffic to your offers in almost no time. Seriously, you've got to stick around if you want to see this. people welcome thanks for tuning back in to the tech agitator as usual we're going to dive right in here we're going to build a super fast very attractive ai landing page so that you can start driving traffic to your offers and i love the way this works seamlessly we're going to use get response here it works seamlessly with traffic zest you'll see it all here so let's get started what you're looking at on your screen here is the home page of GetResponse. So if you're familiar with it, I'm sure you know what all this looks like. But for those who aren't, again, this is the home page. And I'm going to just go to tools up here to the top, at the top. And then we're going to go down to landing pages. And what we want to do here is create a new landing page, of course. And I'm going to go over here to create landing page and it's going to ask to go to new landing page editor or I'll use the legacy one instead which we're not doing we're going to go to the new this is where we really begin to build out our AI landing page so you can get to this page and ask you what field do you work in we're going to say online marketing And you'll see you get a ton of options here for you to choose from. But of course, we're going to do online marketing here. And very important here is asks you to describe your product or service. So at this point, what you want to do is go to the sales page of the offer that you are promoting and get some information about it. For this one, I just chose an online hypnosis training offered under the store 24. And I wanted something with a colorful page that has some nice vibrant colors for the AI to kind of pull from. But what most, what's most important about this step is you want to get information about the features and benefits of the product or service that you're offering. So just kind of scroll down here and we'll get to perfect. What will you learn? in the online hypnosis session so they talk about some of the things you learn here how to master subconscious mind for healing and meditation most powerful practical applications for spiritual hypnosis etc so what i'll do here is just take this text and copy that go back into the builder now typically too what i'll do here is i'll put a little bit more information in there and we'll just craft it to say we offer online hypnosis for we'll say something like individuals to improve their life and feel better you know what you pretty much want to say here is you want to position it so that you're telling the ai what your product or service ultimately accomplishes so you add some more details in there and then we're going to paste the rest of the details that we got from the sales page you want to come in add some more things like of course they have testimonials here if they have more key features and benefits, you definitely want to add those in. But 
I think for the sake of this example, we probably have enough information from this site that list of um, benefits were pretty pretty extensive. So let's see what the AI does here for us. So once you finish this, you will click on next step. And then you have a few more uh, options here. What they're asking you here is to decide ultimately what type of landing page you want to have. So you can choose to make a contact form, a list, a sign up form, a video, and they have additional options here like cookie banners, chat, FAQs, that sort of thing. Those are additional features you might want to come and play with later. But for today, we are going to do a simple sign up form, right? So once you select sign up form, I'm going to go down here and click next step. And here you'll see some options here under add some colors to your page. These are standard templates they have available for you already. But what we are going to do is if it says, you know, not the colors you're looking for, this just gives you more options. So one key step here is to go to the sales page that you're looking for. And we're going to take that URL from the sales page and we're going to drop that URL in here. That tells it where to go to pull like sort of the theme colors from. I guess I'll also mention here if you wanted to add a logo, if you have a logo that you want to use, you can put that in here and it will pull from the color palette of your logo to help create that cohesive design as well. Again, what we want to do here is get a site or have a landing page that looks closely or that it relates to the sales page of the offer. It just offers a more cohesive feeling between your landing page and the site. And um, it's just something that just makes it feel more fluid to the visitor. So we've dropped in the URL here. So we're going to hit continue. And it's going to generate our landing page for us. So now you have a few more options. And you have original, drive, clarity, mirror mode. These are just the templates the AI went out and got for us. And you select which one you liked. For here, we'll go with, let's say, mirror mode. And this page, I wanted to stop here and point out because it's, ad, it's telling you to let's add your company details. And this page is important because this information that you see here, company name, address, and all that stuff, phone number, the phone number is optional. But when it comes to email marketing, you have to have a footer that has your contact information. And that goes in the bottom of each email that goes out. So you want to make sure that the information in here, like such as your business name, your business address and all that is information that you want to share um, with your subscriber base. So make sure the information here is what you want to show up in the bottom of your emails, because like, yeah, like I said, again, that is not optional. So we're just going to skip that here. And now it's getting our landing page ready. And these are the images that get response AI creator has come up with the come up for us and you can preview all of these I'm looking at this one over here with it looks like the sky in the back that looks pretty cool for maybe hypnosis style training so we'll use this design and this is very nice already, right? Definitely in terms of the colors it relates to the sales page that we were looking at. This is really cool. So I love how it starts. Unlock the power of your mind. It's taken information that we've given it and already put some text into this landing page for us. Discover the most powerful techniques to master your subconscious mind, enhance meditation and achieve greatness. Join us on this transformative journey. It's pretty cool stuff. And uh, we'll come back to that in a second. They have a contact form in here. We can get in touch with them. They have, they've even thrown in a testimonial here, guys. 
Ellie Morgan, Mindful Pathways. The techniques and guidance I received are truly life-changing. I highly recommend Mindful Pathways for anyone seeking transformation. And if there was a video or something that you wanted to add, you can put that here. Um, and there's some more text about it there. Of course, we're not gonna use this section for this uh, video for this landing page. So I will go ahead and select that section and hit the trash button so that we've gotten rid of that. All right, so that's gonna make the page a little shorter. And remember, you can pretty much add, remove, alter, manipulate this page however you want to. Uh, I personally like this picture. I like this, this graphic here. I like what it's saying there. So I'm not likely to change anything as far as this goes. However, if you wanted to, like for example, if you wanted to remove the logo, well, I'll click and in, click into the logo box. I'll start by saying if you wanted to keep that logo or replace it, you would click into that box, come over here to the image source. It'll give you the option to replace it or edit it however you want to. So as you click on things on the left, they'll come up on the right for you to be able to do whatever you want to do with them. Like I click onto the picture here. It opens up my toolbar over here on this panel. And if you wanted to link to a, a photo on another uh, website, you can do that sort of stuff. And you just have additional settings here. And and click on like just the text here. I just clicked on this heading, unlock the power of your mind. And as you see, you have a, a tool panel that opened up over here as well, where you can change the font, font colors, the alignment of that text. And just another tip here, if you wanted to add perhaps another section to this page, you would click on this plus icon. You will be given a, an option You'll be given a list of options for the type of elements you wanted to add. Let's say I wanted to add a text box. You would click on that and drag it to wherever you wanted to add it on the page, right? But for the sake of keeping this somewhat short, I won't go into all of that here this time. So we'll close that panel for now. And um, this is also where you can just add additional text. If there are other features and benefits here, like, I know we'll do that. For example, I'm gonna come back over here and we'll add an element. Let's say we'll add a text box and I wanna put that text box here. I didn't drop it. Add that text box and you see that plus icon and it will give you options as to what type of text you want to add. If you want to do another heading, if you just want to do like a simple text box, then we'll just choose that. So then you can come in here and, you know, add some more features. If there's like a deal or a special going on that you can get right now, you want to put that type of stuff in here. Any other things that would really help sell the product are the things you want to put there. But I'm sure you get the gist of that, so I won't go into typing a whole bunch of things. The most important thing I wanted to show you here, though, is the sign up form. So you look at the text here, and also you can replace, like if you want to change this text, you can. If you want to put a picture of some sort over here, you can do that. A graph, any sort of graphic, you can put that over there. Um, and like I said, anything on this page is editable. So. It's, it's pretty intuitive. Once you change a thing or two, you'll see how it flows. Anytime you click on something, the tools to update that or change it or alter it in any way is over here. So um, sign up to receive exclusive access to our advanced hypnosis and meditation training. Start your journey to empowerment today. That sounds pretty good. Or you may want to say something like, What I tend to say is enter your best email to receive exclusive offers, et cetera, right? 
something like that directed into the sign up form you you'll click into the sign up form because this is what we want to alter here and once you do that go to success view and you want to click on redirect to another page or site and this is i will say the most important part of this landing page building aside from you know crafting nice salesy things to entice your visitor you want to go down here to the url and you are going to put in your affiliate link here right very important either your affiliate link or whatever website you want to drive traffic to that is what goes here okay very important to remember that or else you will not get those sales. And then you know, have, have all these other things like get in touch. We have the testimonials. So if you want, if they're at, if you want to add things like certain statistics or metrics, like our office has helped 700 people or whatever, you'll be able to add text boxes and graphics. So you will be able to do that as well. But I'm not going to say I'm pleasantly surprised because I really do feel like get responses, AI landing page generator is pretty cool um i i like this there isn't much i would change about it but hopefully i've given you enough information to know that you can pretty much change anything you want to and how easy it is for you to do it um i don't think i showed you how to remove the logos the same way i'm going to click into the logo box and then you can hit trash if you don't want a logo to show up on on your screen here so just want to touch back one more time on your sign up form, success view, redirect to another page of site, put the URL in. Once you do that, you hit continue and you are done with the landing page if you're happy with it. And on this page, you will be entering the details about your landing page just so you can keep track of things. You want to come over here to edit name. And typically, I will save this as something that relates to my offer so we'll just say online hypnosis class training whatever you want to call it any just make sure that it's something that you remember because if you're running multiple offers you're going to want to keep track of which one it is right which which landing page that relates to and when you come down to subscription settings you may have a, a a various number of contact lists and sometimes your contact lists relate to a particular offer offer that you sent your your traffic to you want to make sure that you are selecting the right list if you only have one list then that's what you will populate here but you do have this drop down so that you can make sure that you put your people who opt into this offer into the right list um because that's where your email campaigns are going to come from. Your email campaigns will be associated with your various offers. So just wanted to point that out. Here you also have the option to turn on send an opt-in confirmation email. One thing about this that I'll point out, which I think is pretty cool, if you have a choice, is if you choose to opt in to email, right, confirmation, that means the person will receive an email confirmation and they have to confirm that they want to receive emails from you in order for you to, in order for them to show up in your contacts list, right? Um, if you don't do that, they can still move forward straight to the offer once they enter their email address and um, they'll be able to see your sales page or whatnot and uh, they just won't have to opt in basically if you want to add contacts to an autoresponder cycle you can do that that's what i was mentioning earlier the people whatever list you put in here that will associate that will be associated with the autoresponder cycle that you want them to go into and favicon i don't really touch that this cookie consent banner here you can opt you can choose to decide whether you want to show the cookie banner. You know, that one that pops up at the bottom of the screen saying, hey, we use cookies, acknowledge us. Um, so you can choose to show that banner or turn it off. 
um, analytics and, and integrations. I really don't change anything else on this page. Analytics and remarketing, I meant to say. Uh, I do leave landing page statistics on. You definitely want to have that on. It's super important. That's how you see how many visitors you came that came to your page versus those who actually opted in and you got their contact information. Business information, all the page I told you about earlier where you it has your company information, your address and phone number and all that. This is where you can change that information if you needed to update it for any reason. But again, like I said, that information has to be in the footer of your email. It's not optional. And it will be housed here on the back end of GetResponse if you use this platform. And it will automatically be populated at the bottom of your email. So with that, you're pretty much done. And we will just hit continue. And here we have your page where you can choose a domain. So, <clears throat> excuse me, starting with your landing page name. Again, that's pretty much the same thing as the product service you're offering. Already populated here. You can use the free get response domain, which a lot of people do. And um, there are a few options for you to choose from here. I usually just keep it at GR website or you can do GR site. Um, and you can add additional text in here too, if you want to make that longer or I don't know, put a code in or something you want to remember, you can put that there. And also you have the option to buy a domain from get response. I think there's is a couple of dollars more than your GoDaddy or your Namecheap. A couple of dollars more there. I have bought a domain through uh, get response and it was pretty seamless. It connected to my landing page easily. Or of course you can connect the domain that you own already. That's pretty simple to do too. So you can connect either of those. But of course, for the sake of this demonstration, we are just going to hit publish. And boom, you are pretty much done. This is a thumbnail of your landing page. You can see the landing page URL here. You can click on that if you want to see a live version of your page. The page is published. You can unpublish it here if you want to. If there are some changes you want to go back and make to it, or you're just not ready to get that offer out there and going yet, you can um, turn that off here. And just a couple of other things I'll show you is like you can look at your metrics, how many page views you got, how many visits you got. That's the number of browsing sessions initiated on your landing page. A session lasts 30 minutes. Page views is just the total number of times your landing page was viewed or refreshed over the time period you selected. How many unique visitors, meaning unique versus returning visitors. And, you know, the traffic over time, you'll be able to see those metrics. And um, that's pretty cool. And there's other things you can look look at here. I won't get into all that. I just wanted to show you how to set up a nice, powerful AI landing page to drive traffic to your offers. And you will see how seamlessly Traffic Zest integrates with GetResponse to get those offers to, to get those customers to your offers quickly. Where we're at here is the Traffic Zest portal. We're on the back end of things where I am. This is where your traffic is going to come from that you're going to drive directly to those offers that you've gotten and or the offer that you just set up. And like I said before, you'll get traffic pretty fast here. You'll be able to start seeing clicks and metrics pretty fast. Um, so I'm just going to go to add new campaign here. And the most important thing I wanted to show you is the destination URL. This is the destination URL for your landing page, the one you just created. That's where you're going to put this or whatever website you want to drive traffic to. That's what you're going to enter here. I will not go through all of the settings and stuff on this page because I did that in extreme detail in an earlier video. I walked you through this in pretty fine detail. So I encourage you to check out that video if you want to know about what's happening and what you're doing on this page. Um, again, of course, the link to that video will be down in the description if you want to check it out. 
But again, I just wanted to point out, this is where you're pointing your traffic to in Traffic Zest is this uh, destination URL here. So that's what you're putting there. All right, so finally we are on, again, the back end of the Get Response page. This is where you're gonna see all of those wonderful metrics. And once you come back to Get Response, go to your landing pages. Again, it'll be Tools and click on landing pages and all the landing pages that you've created will be listed here. And this is where you can start to see those metrics. So once Traffic Zest starts driving traffic to your offers, you'll see those landing pages listed here. And I just wanted to point out a couple of things for you. You will be able to see the number of visits you got, the number of leads. These are the people that opted in to your um, offer and the subscription rate, the subscription rate, let me rephrase that. The number of leads is the people who've actually entered their email address and the subscription rate is just how many visits you received versus the number of leads that actually opted in. So these are people who came to your landing page and they were there for whatever reason and if they, if they opted in, it's over here. You know, if they didn't, then that's just the number of visits. And you'll see for the Billionaire Brainwave product that I mentioned in the earlier video, it's looking like the subscription rate here is 30%, but honestly, that's probably closer to 37 or 40% because I did try out some other buyer traffic platform that was complete trash, I'll say that here. And it lowered my subscription rate because I had a ton of visits, but um, very few leads were opting in. In fact, I don't think anyone opted in. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what I wanted to point out to you is that you will be able to see this traffic here and I've gotten people asking me, did you really make money um, with Billionaire Brainwave? Yes, I did. It was in minutes that I started getting visits and leads. And like I said, it was in six or seven, maybe eight hours that I actually start getting my first sales from Traffic Zest. So they do send targeted traffic to your offers. Um, of course, there will be a link to Traffic Zest in the description to this email if you want to check that platform out. I also have a link for you for get to get response if you want to go ahead and check that platform out too. I think the two work very well together in terms of ease of setting up both of those platforms. Like I said, and I'll say it again here, is I recommend you use Traffic Zest as a test. If there's a new product that you're not really sure about, you want to see what kind of response you get, if you get engagements, you know, it's kind of a litmus test as how you want to do that offer. Traffic Zest is a great opportunity for that. But it is paid advertising. So, you know, keeping that in mind, it might be something that you want to use to test offers um, just to see how they convert, see what kind of interest you get. And you may not want to continue with it, but you might. You might get tremendous results and you want to keep on driving your traffic to there. But the biggest thing here is people, and I haven't mentioned this too much in, in, in the video, but you will start building your email list immediately with Traffic Zest because, again, people have to opt in. And these are high quality um visitors, I'll say that because like I said, I got, I see my open rates in my emails, in my autoresponder emails, um, it's pretty decent and you're sending your stuff to live people. So I definitely encourage you guys to check out this platform. Of course, this video again went much longer than I wanted it to, but I hope you found it valuable. I hope you are able to, to set this thing up. Um, pretty easily. I trust that you will be able to. If you have any questions about it, you know, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to respond to each of them and help you guys along. But Traffic Zest plus Get Response, I think you have a winning combination here. Again, links to everything, including the other video, will be down in the description. So check it out. Thank you for again for hanging out with the Tech Agitator. Hope you found this to be useful. And um, Good luck on your ventures, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.